Hey guys, Austin here. Welcome to another mod showcase. And today we will be reviewing the Dungeon Pack mod. Now, what this mod does is it's it lets a lot of dungeons spawn into your world, like the one I'm standing on right now. And each dungeon can be full of all kinds of different spawners, loots, loot, loot. You can loot stuff and traps. And I'm pretty sure if you heard the noise of TNT, I'm pretty sure the one underneath me just blew up. So, um. Let's go have a look, shall we? Now, I believe the entrance to this thing is right here. You walk in, and what would be here is a lot of, um, pressure plates. And you have to step on the pressure plates, which ignite the TNT that blow up everything. And as you can see, there was a zombie spawner here. There was two levels to this. And I chose a really bad first example, considering it blew up. But, um, yeah, as you can see, there's a chest right here. A few chests, I think, that had, um some saddles and iron stuff like iron horse armor bucket iron ingots and s wheat but um yeah this was the first dungeon and also it has a lot of decoration blocks if you guys want decoration blocks or if you want to place just a farm spawner right here great source of farming and i don't mean the kind of farming with hoes i mean the kind of farm where you kill things all right so let's go look at the second one Okay guys, I found the second one, and this one's one of my favorites. This is a, as you can see, a Sky Ender Village with, um, it's got all the works. It's got all kinds of nice villager houses. It has gardens and animal farms in it. It has all the villagers. It has the iron golems right here, and it is found in the sky, as you can see. So if you guys are looking for this one, well, you're going to have to look up for it. Um... And if you need any endstone or obsidian, you'll have that forever. And it's also a very safe place to be in. I mean, when it gets dark, you can't see anything unless you put up torches. But um, yeah, it's got it's very it's a very big place if you want this to be your home. It's pretty nice. And yeah, like I said, it's in the sky. So if you're playing with friends, it'll take them a long time to find you. If you're trying to hide yourself, especially if they're looking on the ground for you. But um. Yeah, and most of these houses also have chests in them, as you can see. Now, some of them don't have really good loot, like... Oh, actually, this one did have good loot in it, never mind. Um, has some iron ingots, redstone, some saddles, some food, name tag, and some wheat. And there can also be chests on top of these. And there's one over here on top of here. Let's see what's inside this one. Seems to be another... Seems to be dungeon chests, actually, like chests you'll find in dungeons underground, that moved iron golem. Yeah, they all seem to have almost the same stuff in them. Let's move on over here. Oh, here's a water and ice one. I've never seen this one before. Um, oh, we got a golden apple in here. So that's pretty pretty good find if you find that. All right, move it, guys. I need to see what's in here. Same stuff, basically. Seems like they're all the same stuff, but I'm going to keep looking in a few more just to see if I'll miss anything. I believe there can be diamonds in this also. Let me see. Same... Not giving up, guys. Pretty sure there's diamonds in this. Nope, same stuff. Um. Oh, this one's a pretty big one. Oh, this one has an efficiency four book. That's pretty good. Um. Yeah, and also these these um dungeons are pretty rare to find. Like they aren't there aren't tons of them in your world. So that being said, I think I see another one over there. But um, let's see what's in this one. Yeah, same stuff. So let's move on to the other one. I think it's right over here. I can see it. Yes, it is. Now let me just. Yep. Now this one, as you can see, is a ice castle, which is pretty cool. It has spawners, and this that one up the sky village didn't have spawners in, but this one does. See, has a zombie spawner in these chests. Oh, diamond horse armor, um, iron horse armor. So about the same stuff, but this one is a um, ice castle, so I guess you don't want the place to melt. Oh, look, there's spider spawners over here. This is another great place to live, but I mean, if you add, like, lava or something, this whole place is going to melt, which you don't want to happen. But, um, yeah, it's a pretty cool place. It's even all ice inside, too. So, yeah, well, once again, pretty pretty cool dungeon. It's kind of easy to clear out, too, especially in daytime where nothing will be attacking you, but, um... Alright, let's tread on and try to find another one. Okay, guys, I'm back and I did find found another dungeon. This one's another one. This guy, it's a blaze house. This is probably one of the hardest structures to take on, if you ask me, because for one, you gotta park, or not park, or you gotta climb up here. And then once you get up here, you gotta hope these blazes aren't already spawned in and they're gonna, like, just knock you right off. And if you're knocked off, you're pretty much dead. And, um,. 
<coughs> and um, over here, as you can see, there are two miniature floating islands and nice trees, if you ask me, the glowstone and obsidian trees. So another, yet again, another source of obsidian and glowstone too, if you need it. And over here is a pretty nice mansion. Now let's walk through it. So if you walk in the front entrance here, you'll see a spawner. You come in here, you'll see another spawner and some chests, and these chests have about the same stuff in them, dungeon chests, you come in here, see another spawner right there, and back here, is there another chest? Yes, there is. Go up these stairs here, you see a double chest, ooh, let's see what's in this. About the same stuff, we'll punch one efficiency three book. Come over here, you'll see two enchantment tables, not one, two guys, and another blaze spawner. And a lot, of, a lot more decoration blocks, you see you got all the mossy stone, all the end stone, and the cobwebs, mushrooms, and yeah, that's it for this structure, let's move on to the- Okay guys, we're in the next structure, and as you can see, this one is in the desert biome here, and I'm trying- I've been trying to find the, um, a really cool one that could spawn in the desert, but I can't seem to find it yet, but, uh, yeah, as you can see, this one's made out of, once again, end stone and sandstone, this one's a zombie-themed one, I'm pretty sure the spawners can be different in most of them, not that blaze one in the sky, but like the others. Pretty sure spawners can always be different, and in this chest here, actually nothing. Nothing's in this chest. There's chest up here. Oh, this one has stuff in it. Good, good. And as you can see, it's it's kind of like half broken, I guess. And you have to break into it, but I mean, you could configure this into a pretty cool structure. And I'm pretty sure in the config files, you can set the rate of these spawning to so like a lot more can spawn in that. But um, yeah, here's another one, and let me turn it back to daytime. So. It's a lot nicer and you guys can all see. And um, yeah, let's move on to the next structure. Alright guys, finally I found another one. And this one's actually the one I first showed you guys. But this one, I turned it to peaceful really quickly when I saw this so it wouldn't blow up. But um, yeah, this one is, well, it's spawned in a weird place. But it's supposed to be on the ground, like underground. This is the entrance. And what happens is you walk in. You see there's four, actually, maybe six spawners. You break all these. And then you move on to the next level, you come down here, you see these two, you break these. Mind you, you will be getting attacked by zombies and all that. You see these pressure plates, which should probably are going to be being stepped on by all the zombies. You walk in here, there's some more pressure plates, and you see three huge double chests full of loot. Now, like I said, if you accidentally step on this, as you can hear, this is all be gone. Actually. Wait. <laughs> Wait, I think because we're up high, nothing's happening. Oh, nope, there we go. Yep. Yeah, it must have fell down there and didn't really hit anything. So I guess if you found one like this, you'll be lucky. But, um, not not all of them are like this. But, um, here, let me, let me just, let me just get a better, better, um, example here for you. So, if I did not mean to do that, but, um, yeah, so you walk in, you see this, and, uh, this happens. There you go, now all your stuff's gone, and then, um, then, yeah, all your stuff's gone, and you're sad because that happens. So, uh, if you see this dungeon, hurry up and get out of that area, like, don't let any zombies spawn in and step on it, because, um, yeah, that, that'll happen to blow up. Or if you like playing on Peaceful, then you're all good. <laughs> Nothing will happen. You'll just get a ton of loot. But, um, yeah, that's just about it for this mod show. It's a mod that adds in a ton of different kinds of dungeons into your world. And I'm sad I couldn't show you guys the one that's in the desert I really like. But, um, yeah, you'll just have to download the mod and find out for yourself which one I'm talking about. You'll probably figure it out. But, um, yeah, that's all there is for this mod show. Guys, please leave a like and subscribe. I'd very much appreciate it if you like this video. And, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.